I just started off too slow, missing, missing too many shots. But once you settle in, I feel like I play really well offensively and defensively. Do you feel like you have a rhythm there where you didn't feel like you could really miss? I think you, I don't remember how many shots in a row you made, I think four or something like that, but uh, three pointers, jumpers. Uh, yeah, I did. It, the basket did get a little bit bigger. Uh, you know, just everything felt good. Um, teammates definitely backed me up today. They just kept telling me to keep going because uh, they know what I can do, and they just pushed me to do it today. Did it remind you of uh, last year's game, Tyson, when you switched out on a big and hit a three over him? Did you think back to that moment at all? Uh, no, you know, just when they switch in, you just got to make a play, uh, and that's what I did. Uh, at that Max. moment, yeah, what, what, Max. both those shots in that type of game, what did that, what did that feel like after? I mean, did that feel like to you guys as a moment that you took control of A's and finished off from there? Uh, well, I hit the shot, uh, then they came back and hit another shot. So I didn't really – then I just wiped the shot I made right out. So just – they did a good job at responding with, with what we did. And then you shut loose about the second one, though, you're on four, but I don't remember how much left. Did it seem like a moment there where you guys could – yeah, it was definitely a moment, but then, you know, they came back down and got an and one so they just, they, as I said, they just kept responding. Coming out of the timeout, what were you guys, how the ball ends up going to you, what were you guys trying to get? Uh, we were just trying to get some movement. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't know if they were going to switch or not, which they didn't, and I got an open shot, just rushed it, missed it. Yeah. We drew that one up right there. Right there. Yep. How are you guys feeling from the league, Tyson? I don't know what exactly is coming forward, but what you said it sounds like it's on the best, I guess. Uh, you know, uh, it, you just feel bad, you know, senior year. You know, he has big plans, you know. Uh, he was playing well when he came back, and it's just unfortunate that it happened again. So, you know, you definitely feel for him. But I feel like he, he's doing a good job, you know, just staying, staying with us, like mentally, you know, still helping everybody out, just being a leader still. What's this team have to do to sort of make up? If, if he's not, a, not with you guys for a while, what's this team have to do to make up for that? We just, we just got to keep playing basketball. Next man up, somebody else got to step up and perform. As how did you head down? Were you surprised that you were off on that last shot? You have been so hot? Uh, no, nah, as soon as I let you go, I knew I missed. I, I just rushed the shot. Yeah, I, I didn't know how close he was to me because when I caught it, my back was turned to him. So I, I just rushed it. Tom wasn't very happy about the uh, late call call on you. You said he was unhappy? Yeah, Tom wasn't happy. Not with that. He was unhappy uh, with the call. I, I just feel like in that moment, you know, I didn't think I fouled him, especially just fighting over a screen, getting bumped. I, I didn't think I fouled him, but, you know, the refs think otherwise. What sort of, how would you describe, I guess, Tyson's sort of mentality of this team in a, in a late type situation? I mean, it was kind of like that. Yeah, most definitely. sort of to agree. You've played a lot of close games this year, as long as I'm getting to so what's sort of the collective mindset at this point in a situation like that? Uh, I feel like just with our maturity, uh, experience, it, it allows us to be comfortable in those situations. You know, we, we didn't we didn't stress out when they scored or they took the lead. You know, we just kept responding. We stayed under control, and we just ran our offense. No one got out of control trying to do anything too much. That's something that you can tell a team sort of earns over time that, that ability to, to be able to. Yeah, you know, just with that last shot that I made to pull up, you know, we drew up a play and it was there was no rushing with it. You know, it just took our time uh, and we got a good one. Were you able to talk to Malik before the game? Have you guys been able to in the team? Uh, no, not before the game. We didn't get to talk to him. He was, you know, he was doing something. But he, we all knew, we all know what's going on. You know, we just feel bad that it happened at this time. Have they told, have they told, you, have they told you how long? I have no, I, no idea what's going on. Just that you just knew he's coming. Yeah. We just got to carry over. Uh, just keep playing hard, uh, doing the little things. You know, everybody helped today rebounding. Uh, we just got to keep doing little things, just carrying over. Like you guys did, 
Yeah, yeah, it wasn't really on the fly, you know. It's just people got to play more minutes, uh, like Joey, uh, Jaden, I me. Mean, but it's not really on the fly. We, we've done it before, but, you know, it, it's just hard without them. So, but we just try to get used to it, I guess, for however long. Maybe it's no time, maybe it's some time, but we just have to just respond to it. Uh, I, it's what you. It's what I came here for, honestly. You know, to make plays, uh, the crowd. Uh, it's, it's really what I came here for. That, and I'm happy. You know, I put myself in position to perform like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, like when you got a dude like that, he's always an outlet. So, yeah, when their guards didn't have a shot, they just dumped it in, and he's a lot to handle. So, and you can't really help off their shooters like that because they're really good shooters. So, it enforces us to play one on one, and he's just, he's just a big dude. Is there anything that gets a change in that? Couldn't tell you right now. What's that? Couldn't tell you right now. Is that you know, you know, you know, you know, he scored 32. But a small guard in the game. Yeah, a lot of ways, the contrast of that from an impartial observer, you feel like that's the biggest of basketball. Because they were taking advantage of you stay a little bit. You were taking advantage of his size. And I'm switching everything. You ever been involved in a game like that where you're going back and forth yeah. with a guy that big scoring? Or yeah. Was that any point? My sophomore year at Northeastern uh, against UMass, I had uh, 29. And their big dude had uh, 31, so it's kind of similar. Was he switching and playing some defense on you sometimes? Yeah. What's yeah. that like? Uh, it's what you want. It's what I work out on, you know, those isolation plays. It's, it's what I work on.